In this lesson, we'll cover work sharing detach. So you may say, well, what is work sharing detach? What does it have to do with our central file or our user file? Well, let me paint a scenario for you. Let's say you're an architect firm or design firm and you're working on this Revit project and you need to actually share the Revit model with a consultant. Well, what you don't want to do is make a copy of the central file and you definitely don't want to make a copy of your user file to send to the actual consultant, simply because they still have all of the shared synchronizing capabilities in it back to the central server. What you really want to do is make a copy of either your file or the central file and then detach all of the synchronization settings or work set settings that would tie it back to your central file. Now you could do this with either your copy, meaning your local copy, or the central file copy. Depending upon what you want to send to the consultant, make sure everybody synchronizes first. In this example, we'll use the actual file we have as a user. Now, another case for this is if you received a file from an architect or design firm, and you go to open it and you get a message about it being tied to a central file. You can actually manually break that if it's causing confusion or issues opening the file. And you'd follow the same steps we'll use here. To detach a file from a central server or central file, let's follow these steps. So what we would do is you would go to the open menu within Revit and browse to the file that you want to detach. Now again, it could be the central server file, or it could be your local copy of the file you sync to the server, or it could be that file the architect sent you that it's still tied to their central server. In this example, we'll choose work sharing username. Now on the very bottom, you have an option in work sharing called detach from central. So even if you did choose the central file, you still could select the same thing. That basically relinquishes and removes any of the synchronization settings from the central file to the users and vice versa. Audit would basically tabulate an audit trail for what you do. Now I'm not going to select that because that'll take a little time for it to actually audit this actual file. So when you select this, you're going to see a message box next stating what you're actually about to do is detach it. So make sure you click work sharing or the file name, check mark detach from central, then click open. Here now it's telling you you're about to basically break all of these links and make this model independent from the central file and all the other users. So what do you want to do? Obviously we want to detach, but do you want to keep the work sets in the work set dropdown? or do we want to disregard the work sets? That's a question up to you, depending upon how this is actually going to be used. In this example here, I'm going to choose the first one, detach and preserve work sets. So let's go ahead and select detach and preserve work sets. So what Revit does now is basically opens that file, removes any work sharing capabilities to the central server, but retains the work sets. To see that, let's go to the Collaborate tab. On the Collaborate tab, click Work Sets. You can see all of the work sets are here, but notice you have ownership to all of the work sets. Now again, I'm logged in as user one, that's my username. Your owner name would be you, or however you log into Windows. To see that I'm not connected to a central server, click Cancel, and notice that the Synchronize button is grayed out. Therefore, I cannot synchronize this, and this is a standalone file. The last step is you basically would do a file save as. So I can go to the large R, save as, project, and then save this as a standalone project file name that I could give to my consultant, or if it's one that I got from an architect that was still tied to their central server, this would break the links and now I can open it and work on that project file. For this example though, I'm not going to save it, just click cancel. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at work sharing detach. We talked about why you would want to detach. An example of that would be if you had a file or your Revit project that you wanted to send to a consultant. You don't want to send them that file of the central server file or your local user file that had all of the synchronization settings in it. Another method of why you'd want to do this is if you received a file from an architect that had their synchronizations in it to their central file. So in these scenarios, you want to detach the file and remove any of the synchronization settings back to the central file on their server. And to do that, we would use the work group work sharing detach. 
The method is to open the file and choose the detach button on the very bottom, and then choose if you want to preserve or not preserve actual work sets.